find the mean deviation about the median for the following data. So here's our data set, xi and the frequencies 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 15, 21 and 22. These are the frequencies 3, 4, 5, 2, 4, 5, 4 and 3. Now pause the video, try this on your own first. Okay, let's do this together. We have to find the mean deviation about the median. This means the first thing that we have to do is figure out where the median is. So let's do that. For that we have these frequencies. Let's figure out the cumulative frequencies as well. So let's add a new column, cumulative frequencies. So here we have 3, here we have 3 plus 4, that's 7. Here we have 7 plus 5, that's 12. 12 plus 2 is 14, 14 plus 4 is 18. 18 plus 5 is 23, 23 plus 4 is 27, and 27 plus 3 is 30. This means all the frequencies added together is 30, which means we have 30 entries in this data set. Sum of all the frequencies is 30. We can write this as n that's equal to 30. Now median is going to be the value that's in the middle. So if we have 30 entries lined in increasing order, the middle value is going to be the average of the 15th observation and the 16th observation. So 15th and 16th entry divided by 2, that's going to give us the average. So now let's figure out where our 15th and 16th observations are. For this, we need our cumulative frequencies. So let's see. We have our 14th observation as 12th. The next four observations are 13th. So 15th, 16th, in fact, 17th and 18th as well. All four of these are equal to 13. We're taking the 15th and 16th observation. So that's 13 each. 13 plus 13 by 2, that's going to be 13. So our median is 13. So next job is to figure out the absolute values of the deviations from the median. That's mod of xi minus m. So we'll take each entry and take the difference of that with the median and then take its absolute value. Let's add another column, mod of xi minus m, here m is the median. So three minus 13, that's minus 10, taking the absolute value, that's 10. Six and 13, they are seven units apart. 9 and 13, they are 4 units apart, 12 and 13, 1, 13 and 13, 0, 15 and 13, that's 2, 21 and 13, that's 7 plus 1, that's 8, and 22 and 13, that's going to be 9. So that's mod of xi minus m. Now 3 is appearing 3 times, 6 is appearing 4 times, this means these deviations are also appearing these number of times. So next column will be mod of xi minus m times the frequency. Let's add another column for our convenience. Let's repeat the fi 3, 4, 5, 2, 4, 5, 4, 3. And now let's multiply these two. This is fi times mod of xi minus m. Again, here m is the median. So 10 times 3 is 30, 7 times 4 is 28, 4 times 5 is 20, 1 times 2 is 2, 0 times 4 is 0, 2 times 5 is 10, 8 times 4 is 32, and 9 times 3 is 27. Now we'll add all of these up. We'll add this column up. Sigma fi mod of xi minus m. Let's see what the total deviation is. So sigma fi mod of xi minus m, what's that going to be? Let's add all of these up. Let's add the tens place first. We have three plus two five, plus two seven, plus one eight, plus three eleven, plus two thirteen. So that's one thirty. Now let's add the units place. Two plus seven, nine plus 2, 11, plus 8, 19. So 130 plus 19, that's going to be 149. So that's the sum, 149. Now our mean deviation about the median, that's going to be this value, 149, divided by total number of values, that's 30. So this is going to be 1 by n of sum of fi mod of xi minus m. So let's figure that out. Mean deviation about the median, that's going to be 149 by 30. That's going to be approximately, if we take the approximation, that's 150 by 30, that's 5. So it's approximately less than 5. The value is 4.97. So that's our mean deviation about the median. All right, now let's summarize these steps. To find the mean deviation about median for this group data, which is discrete, the step one is to find the cumulative frequencies. Once we have the cumulative frequencies, we can figure out the median. Median is the middle value. And once we have the median, we'll start finding the deviations of observations from the median. So we'll find the deviations of observations from the median and take their absolute values. That's mod of xi minus m, here m is the median. Then we multiply this with the frequencies 
and add all of that up. We find the sum of the product of deviations from median with their respective frequencies. That's going to be sigma fi mod of xi minus m. Once we have this sum, we'll divide this by n to figure out the mean deviation about the median. So that's going to be 1 by n of sigma fi mod of xi minus m.